Eagle Pass, Texas has become the epicenter of the national immigration debate as over the last year an unprecedented number of migrants crossed here to apply for asylum. And for many observers, this complex issue can only be summed up in one word. Invasion. We are being invaded. We are being invaded. We're being invaded. We're being invaded just like it's a military invasion. But how are the locals coping with this relentless onslaught? They've come and taken over the town. It's our land and there's just people coming in. They're causing, uh, you know, havoc and, 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 and craziness. There's chaos. Shouldn't you be welcoming? Don't you have any empathy for the journey they've taken to get here? They're not welcome. Get the hell out of our place. You can't move around with seeing them. You mm -hmm. can't get a meal in a restaurant. Can't get a hotel room unless you're willing to pay $400. Wait, wait, who are you talking about right now? The State Guard from Florida, Tennessee, Arkansas, Idaho. Oh, what you need to be afraid of is some of these convoys of people. You're talking about Central American caravans. Oh, no, we're talking no. about the people that are invading the country here, not the Mexicans. The invasion here is from Governor Abbott and the Trumpers and the MAGA people. Yes, Eagle Pass has been overrun since Governor Greg Abbott declared a crisis at the border and sent in the Texas National Guard, attracting a flood of Republican governors, congressional delegations, and even billionaire weirdos. This is our taxpayer dollars right. being put to use by coming out to Eagle Pass and what's happened is it's jacked up the hotel prices. Our room is $370 and they don't even have any hand lotion, Judy. Uh, uh, understood, understood. What is your message to the people that want to come down here and don't come? Okay, but be more clear. Please don't come. It's not just cool guys in scarves that are being victimized in this conflict, but also local small business owners who resemble Sam Elliott. Right now, the only people that are going into the water there are individuals from the press that want to see how ugly it is out there. The governor of Texas is here disrupting your job, and you want to deport him. Get him out, because, yeah. I mean, I'm expected to follow federal law, local law, yeah. state law. I would expect the same thing from our leader of our state. Sam Elliott and his mustache's concerns were justified because when America sends its people to Eagle Pass, they're not always sending their best. Some, I assume, drove countless hours to sit outside a fence. But why? This is my land. I'm from Texas. Yeah. I'm here to support the, those people who are fighting for me, my life, my land. Do we have guts enough to defend ourselves? Do we? Now, you, you're shaking your head, and you don't really I'm not I'm skeptical. You, you're wearing a suit, and you've been successful in the New York media. You know what? You sold your soul to the devil. If I sold my soul to the devil to be successful in news media, I would be more successful. Did I wouldn't you? be sitting here in Eagle Pass, Texas. You think I want to stay at a Marriott Town Plaza with no body lotion? That sounds like something the devil would say. Yes, Dan's fashion critique hurt, and his outlook was very confrontational. So I decided to talk to the chairwoman of the county Republican Party for a more measured view. So we've had this invasion, and uh, it, it's really turned this town upside down. You mean from Governor Abbott, from the 13 out-of-state Republican governors, news media such as myself? No, I'm talking about the illegals, Illegal. the wetbacks. And, yo, I'm sorry, what, was, what did you call them? Wetbacks. Wetbacks. Man, I haven't heard that word in a long time. Okay, now that you've gotten that out of her system, I was ready for a more nuanced conversation. We just want them to come legally through the front door. Calling them wetbacks to me is not a, we welcome you here. I want them to come legally. That's what I want. So they, they aren't wetbacks. So they right. don't have to swim the river. They wouldn't be wetbacks if they didn't. Obviously, there's some disagreement about whether we should let people from other countries seek refuge here and whether we should refer to them with vintage racist slurs. But has militarizing the border actually worked to keep anyone out? I asked Magali Urbina, whose pecan farm borders the Rio Grande. I asked them to several times, please don't yeah. put the wire up, we don't want it, it's a liability. Yeah. And they just came in and they put it up anyhow. Yeah. Do you think the fencing and the buoys and the razor wire, do you feel like that's working? No. No, not at all. The governor's just pushing them out to New Mexico, to Arizona, to California. But guess what? They're still coming in. So if they haven't solved the migrant crisis, could there be another purpose for the thousands of state guards, miles of barbed wire, and throngs of sunburned politicians in Eagle Pass? 
I would have to say it has to do with the fact that it's an election year. A narrative is being told that creates chaos, scares people. It's what's going to win them the election. Do you think this issue at the border has a lot to do with Donald Trump's re-election? Yeah. You do? Trump is concerned about the welfare of the people, me, this country. Mm. He's not worried about trying to look good so that he can get elected. A guy with a golden toilet and a spray tan isn't worried about looking good. It's a political stunt. The Republican pendejos who don't give a damn. I minored in Spanish, but I forgot pendejos. They mean politician? Well, it's kind of a heavier word than idiots. Motherfucker? Uh, not as heavy. Not as heavy as motherfuckers, but heavier than idiots, stupid. Somewhere between motherfucker and idiot. Uh, I would say so. As I'd come to understand, the border is a complex issue that affects people's real lives. It's so much more than a photo op. But before I left town, there was one more thing for me to do.